What's up, everybody? It's Grim, your hero of heroes, your champion of champions, and I am here today to talk about WWE 2K20. I had the distinct honor of being flown out to Las Vegas by 2K to get an early look at the video game, and I'm here to give you guys my honest thoughts of the game and to tell you if I think you should buy it. But before we get into that, I just want to thank the Manscaper for bringing us this video. The Manscaper... The ball shaver, as I call it. You want to be trim. You want your sack to look good for when you go out with your girl. I mean, you don't want to find no bush on her either, right? So what you got to do is you got to mow the lawn with the Manscaper 2.0 Lawn Mower System. This thing is awesome. Watch this. It doesn't nick your sack whatsoever. <laughs> it's amazing because let me tell you, my last groomer shredded my sack. It was like to the point where I was like, look, I can't even do anything tonight. And my balls need to heal. Also, Manscaper brings us ball cleaner. Your balls are going to be fresh and clean. Like, like you know how they, they scrub the ball on balls like this? Yeah, that's what this does. It takes care. And then preserver. This is ball deodorant, anti-chafing. Because, you know, sometimes I'm like with the baby powder. But baby powder causes cancer. Not this. <laughs> the crop preserver. It preserves your crops. <laughs> You know, your crops, as in your uh, carrots and your potatoes. Now, we got the Crop Reviver. Let's say the day is going long. You're on a date. You've been out for four or five hours, and then it's not working out too well for you. And you're getting a little saucy down there. Well, the Crop Reviver is going to take care of that. You're going to be golden and good to go. You're also going to get cologne, so you don't smell like asshole. We don't want you to stink. We want you to smell good on your dates. Foot duster so your feet don't get that gangly goo that smells like poo. Also in this system, you get boxers. Badass. Look, and they're, they're not just regular boxers. These are performance boxer briefs. And what they are is preparatory. These are big words. I don't know. Reading is for prisoners. But you can read about the boxers right there to keep your balls protected. You can get all this awesome stuff for a limited time only. The Perfect Package 2.0. You got this little bag. So if you want to be manscaped like me, don't forget to check out the link in the description below where you can save 20% on your order. You get all this stuff. It's going to be awesome. 20%. That's 10% times two. <laughs> Usually I only save you 10% on things. Now we're getting you 20% off times two. It's badass. Manscaped. We're going to nail it times two. Now, let's get into talking about WWE 2K20 because honestly, okay, I got to watch all the other YouTubers pretty much bury this game. And I'm going to sit here and I'm going to say, Yo, a bunch of nerds! Oh, well, I want to complain about this. Oh, well, I want to complain about that. Oh, oh, they didn't include this, and they messed up that. Cry me a river, you fools. Listen to me. This game is badass, okay? I came up on crap wrestling video games. And you want to know what? I still played them, and I still love them because I love playing wrestling games. I grew up on the Super NES playing Royal Rumble, which was trash, Okay. WWE 2K20 blows every game away. Some people are saying the graphics aren't as good this year. Who cares? The game plays better. The game plays better. And if I had to take a little bit of a hit on the graphics, so what? The game still looks amazing. They're like, oh no, the graphics aren't as good as last year. Who cares? I mean, seriously, are you playing the game to look at a graphic or are you playing the game for fun? I play a game for fun. I don't care what the graphic looks like. The graphics looked like friggin' horse turds back when I was a kid. And you want to know something? I had fun with the damn game. <laughs> and I'm having fun with this. Now, there's so many options, so many ways to play WWE 2K20. You know, you have those towers, and you have the universe mode, and you have the my career. There's so many options. But you know what I like to do the best? I like to have all my friends over. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play versus this guy. I'm going to play versus a ninja twin. I'm going to play versus a tax slug. I'm going to play versus whoever. And we're going to have a tournament. And we're going to be cheering. And we're going to be popping for each other. And we're going to put stuff on the line. And it's going to be so much fun. Loser buys dinner. You know what I'm saying? Like, that kind of stuff is fun to do with your friends. And that, to me, is the fun of this game. I can see where... Once you play through all the options of the My Career and, you know, all those things, once you play through them, I can see where, okay, maybe I'm bored with this game now, you know? And if you're the kind of person that's going to sit in front of this game for the next three weeks and burn through everything, and then you're going to be bored of it in three weeks. Unless you have some friends over. Now, the problem is maybe you don't have friends. Play online. 
They have new lobbies and stuff where you can go online and you don't have to wait forever to find somebody that wants to play the match with you. It's going to tell you if there's people there waiting to play the match or not. This is great. How can this be bad? What are you people complaining about? Oh, no, there was a glitch. It's a freaking computer, man. I, name me one game that don't have a goddamn glitch. I can't find one. Name me one game that is the perfect game. They don't exist. We can sit here and nitpick everything, but I ain't no nitpicker. I like to play a game that's fun. Now, I do take issue with the fact of The Fiend that I have to play through an entire tower and beat it because I'm shit and I can't beat anything. I have to play it. Did you get The Fiend? No. No, bitch, I want The Fiend now. I should just have The Fiend to play as him now. That's the most popular character going right now in the WWE. That's who everybody wants to be. Why isn't he front and fucking set? He should be front and center so I can play him. That's my biggest complaint with the game. I was like, oh, Grim's mad about the scene. Well, I am. Mixed gender tag team matches. They're in the game this year. Mixed match challenge. That's something that's been missing for a while because back when I actually had a woman in my life, I would say, well, you know, maybe I want Grim and Heel Life to team up against, you know, uh, Doohop and Tiffany Avatar. I can play that match now. I could clothesline Tiffany Avatar's head off. I might get disqualified, but it can happen. <laughs> <laughs> Preferably, I'd like to see Doohop clothesline her head off. But she's not going to be my tag team partner. I'm on a quest to find myself a new tag team partner. If you're cute and if you're single, slide in the DMs. The Grimsta's looking for love. Another thing that a lot of people are triggered about is the new controls. Oh no, they moved the buttons. I, I played it. And at first I was salty. I'm not going to lie. The controls have been the same for five years. And now they moved things. But it's better I can reverse things so much quicker. And you know, if you've ever watched me play the game, I'm good as hell at reversing. And now I'm even better. I'm going to be unbeatable. I'm going to be unbeatable. I'm going to sit right here next to Tubby Emu before his fat ass flies home. And I'm going to destroy him because I'm the king of reversals. And now I'm going to be even better, bitch. It's going to be badass. You know what I didn't even get a chance to play yet? And that's the My Career mode. My Career is probably one of the coolest modes in the whole game. And it's something that pretty much every YouTuber does. And it's something I really want to get invested in. And this year, you can play as a man or a woman. Finally, I don't know why they haven't done this in the past. If I can criticize about anything, is that they haven't had women, my careers, in the past. But this year, here it is, delivered on a silver platter to you. Especially if you're a girl, now you can play the my career. Or you could just sit there and say, well, look, I'm grim. But maybe I want to play my career as Sasha Banks. It's going to happen. It can go down. I've just been informed I can't play my career as Sasha Banks. But... I can play as Red or Trey, and I can customize them and make them look like Sasha Banks if I want to. <laughs> Try and stop me. Also new in this game this year, the first time ever, a women's showcase. That's right. Now you can relive all the greatest matches of the four horsewomen as they came up from NXT to the main roster and won women's championships. It's badass. First time ever. Who's going to be salty about that? I can just imagine. Uh, women's showcase, it should have been somebody else. Ugh, cry me a river. Now there's a tower in there with Roman Reigns and he's going to intro matches and stuff. That's not really for me. I'm probably never going to play that. So if you're looking forward to the Grimster playing the tower against Roman Reigns, pfft, unsubscribe. It ain't going to happen. But if you are down with it, it's awesome. Am I going to complain about something? They gave me it for free. I'm not interested in it. I'm not going to play it. But why would I complain about it? One of the other things I see a lot of people complaining about is the ratings of the wrestlers. Like, oh no, The Fiend is only rated at an 86. Like, who cares? If you're good at the game, it doesn't matter what the rating is. You know, one thing I've never even paid attention to is the rating. I pick who I like to play as because that's the fun of the game to me. And if, okay, I'm Kurt Hawkins and I'm terrible and I'm playing against Brock Lesnar, what would happen on WWE? Is Kurt Hawkins really going to beat Brock Lesnar? No. Okay? But I have the opportunity to do it if I'm goddamn good at the game. But maybe I can get good at the game and find a way to make Kurt Hawkins beat Brock Lesnar. It doesn't matter what the rating has to say. It can still be done. And then not only that, but with the accelerator and unlocking things, you can change the ratings on your characters anyway. Bet your bottom dollar we're going to put The Fiend up to 127 and we're going to make him dominate everybody. Ain't no way anybody going to beat him. I don't care who you are. Oh, we can only go up to 100. We can only go up to 100. But we're going to find a way to get him to 127. There is so much new original stuff in this, like the bump in the night and all the kinds of new arenas. We haven't even scratched the surface yet. That, to me, is the fun of the game. The gameplay is so much better. 
And that's why the Grimster's coming out and saying, I give you my recommendation of this game. You know, I sit here with a tax slug and I give my ratings on his little perplexing pickle show every week. And I say, how many asses do I give the game? Five asses up is my top rating. I am going to go out on a limb here and give this game... Six asses up! Why? Because it's better than anything that I've ever played before, wrestling game-wise. I don't care if it's old. I don't care if it's new. I don't care if it's 2K19. You're going to say, oh, this game's not that much better. It's not that much newer. Yes, it is. You haven't played it. You don't know what you're talking about. You're only seeing what you see and hearing what you hear from the whiners and the complainers. And if you're a whiner and a complainer too, you know what? Just go sit in a hole and cry and complain about something. If you want to have fun, get the game, hang out with the Grimster. I'm going to be in the lobbies and I'm ready to lose to you because I'm terrible. But what I will do is tell you this is a fun game and we're going to play the hell out of it this year. I can't wait. So let's do this. And don't forget to use Dave20, that's my discount code, at Manscaped, free shipping, you get all this awesome stuff, it's awesome, and you won't be nicking your balls.